بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمایوں لیکچرر اسٹیٹسٹکس ریسرچ آفیسر اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر اسٹیٹسٹیشین اسٹیٹسٹیکل آفیسر اینڈ مینی ادر ایگزامز فار اسٹیٹسٹکس ہیو امپورٹنٹ کوشچنز آف دا ٹاپک آف پروبیبلٹی نو پیپر کین بی کنڈکٹیڈ اور پریپیئرڈ ود آؤٹ دا کوشچنز آف پروبیبلٹی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ڈیئر اسٹیٹسٹیشینس ٹوڈے آئی ول ڈسکس دیٹ امپورٹنٹ وائٹل اینڈ اسینشیل ٹاپک آف اسٹیٹسٹکس بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹوڈیز امپورٹنٹ لیکچر آئی ریکویسٹ ایوری ون سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل لائک اینڈ شیئر مائی چینل اینڈ کلک دا بیل آئیکن فار دا نوٹیفیکیشنز آف دا نیکسٹ امپورٹنٹ ویڈیوز اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی وانٹ ٹو انوائٹ آل دا اسٹوڈینٹس الحمد للہ بائی دا گریس آف اللہ آئی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ آن لائن کورس فار دا پریپریشن فار دا پوسٹ آف لیکچرر اسٹیٹسٹکس اینڈ آل ادر امپورٹنٹ پیپرز اینڈ الحمد للہ مینی اسٹوڈینٹس فرام مینی سٹیز آف پاکستان ہیو جوائنڈ دیٹ کورس اینڈ یو کین آلسو جوائن دا سیشن ڈونٹ ویسٹ اے سنگل سیکنڈ ناؤ یو کین سینڈ دا میسیج آن دا واٹس ایپ نمبر زیرو ٹریپل تھری فور ٹو فور فائیو سیون ون زیرو لیٹ اسٹارٹ فسٹ آف آل دا امپورٹنٹ کوشچن فار ایوری ریٹرن ٹیسٹ ایز ویل ایز دا انٹرویو آف اسٹیٹسٹکس از وٹ از پروبیبلٹی ان اے سنگل ورڈ ایکچولی پروبیبلٹی از ان اے سنگل ورڈ اٹ از اے چانس چانس از دا کریکٹ آنسر دین وٹ از پروبیبلٹی وٹ آر دا پریکٹیکل ایگزامپلز آف پروبیبلٹی دا ایگزامپلز آر فار ایگزامپل اف آئی سی ول اٹ بی ریننگ ٹوڈے اور ناٹ دیٹ از وی آر وی آر ڈٹرمنگ دا چانسز وی آر ڈسکسنگ اینڈ ایسٹیمیٹنگ اباؤٹ دا چانسز آف دا ہیپننگ آف رین اینڈ دیٹ از دا سیزن آف پی ایس ایل اینڈ اف آئی سی لاہور کلندر ول ون دا میچ ٹوڈے اگینسٹ پشاور دیٹ از دا پروبیبلٹی ناؤ دا تھرڈ ایگزامپل از پروفیسر حسن ول اپلوڈ ہیز ویڈیو آن یو ٹیوب اور ناٹ دیٹ از دا پروبیبلٹی آئی ول پاس دا ریٹرن ٹیسٹ فار دا پوسٹ آف لیکچرر اسٹیٹسٹکس اور ناٹ دیٹ از دا پروبیبلٹی گیسٹس ول کم ٹو مائی ہوم اور ناٹ دیٹ از دا پروبیبلٹی وین ایور یو آر فائنڈنگ دا چانسز آف اکرینس آف این ایونٹ دیٹ از دا پروبیبلٹی اینڈ دس از دا امپورٹنٹ کوشچن فار انٹرویو آلسو اینڈ دا ریٹرن ٹیسٹ دیز آر دا امپورٹنٹ بیسکس دین دا تھرڈ ون از ایکسیڈنٹ اینڈ ایکسپیریمنٹ دیر کین بی اے اسٹیٹمنٹ ان دا ایگزام ان دا ریٹرن ٹیسٹ اینڈ یو ول ہیو ٹو جج وٹ از دا ایکسیڈنٹ وٹ از دا ایکسپیریمنٹ ایکچولی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ایکسیڈنٹ از این ان پلانڈ ایکٹیویٹی وچ گیوز یو ریزلٹس فار ایگزامپل اف اٹ از ریننگ آؤٹ سائڈ دیر از اے پلیزنٹ ویدر اینڈ یو گو آؤٹ سائڈ یو آر واکنگ دیر از سلپری ایوری ویئر اینڈ یو یو آر سلپڈ دیٹ از این ایکسیڈنٹ دیٹ واز ناٹ پلینڈ وچ پروڈیوس ریزلٹس دیٹ واز ایکچولی ان پلینڈ دیٹ از این ایکسیڈنٹ اینڈ وٹ از ایکسپیریمنٹ ایکسپیریمنٹ از اے پلینڈ ایکٹیویٹی وچ گیوز یو سنگل ریزلٹ آل دا ٹائم فار ایگزامپل اف آئی پٹ water in the kettle and I put on the stove and uh, I switch on the stove and I put leaves of tea and uh, milk into it and uh, the sugar also that will be the tea all the time it will never ever be anything else that is the single single result of that experiment that is the experiment that was a planned activity but it gives only one result all the time when I put sugar tea leaves and milk in the water and I boil it there will be the tea always that is an experiment now what did you learn probability in a single word it is a chance and I told you the practical examples of probability then I told you what is the difference between accident and experiment accident is actually unplanned and experiment is a planned activity but it gives it produces it 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 will enable you to get only one result then the next one is experiment and random experiment we have discussed 
experiment is a planned activity which gives you single result all the time but random experiment is a planned activity which gives you different results all the time two or more than two results and if you repeat it under identical conditions many times it will produce you two or more than two results we have many examples which we have discussed coin dice cards if i toss a coin five or six times there will be head and tail not a single result and the third condition is that for the random experiment we know all the outcomes in advance we know what can come what are the total outcomes actually but we do not know what will come now for example if i toss a coin i know there are two total outcomes there can be head or tail if two teams play a match pakistan and india we know there will be three outcomes total pakistan will win india will win or there will be the draw match actually these are the total outcomes we know this is the quality of the random experiment we know the total outcomes what can happen what are the total outcomes but we do not know what will come now who will win the match now who will win the match today if i toss a coin i know head and tail are the total outcomes these are the conditions but i do not know what will come now that is the random experiment and if i repeat it under identical conditions it produces you different results two or more than two results next one is trial a very important question for paper point of view and interview a single performance of a random experiment is called a trial if you if you perform any experiment a random experiment single time that is a trial next is event and outcome actually outcome is the actual result of the random experiment and event are the outcomes of the random experiment which can which can come in it we know these are the outcomes of the random experiment but the actual result which you gain which you get after performing the random experiment that is actually the outcome next is simple and compound event if i have six numbers on the dice 1 2 3 four five and six and if i say throw a die and i am interested in six if i am interested in a number six there are six actually one two three four five six please keep in mind they make the sample space it is the whole all the outcomes of the random experiment constitute they make a sample space that question can also be asked in the exam and each element is actually the sample point from one concept i will give you three concepts actually all the outcomes of the random experiment make sample space and each element of the sample space is called sample point and the third one is if i am interested in six there are six sample points but i am interested only in one simple simple sample point in one sample point that is called simple event but if i say i am interested in even number if you throw a die and if two comes or four comes or six comes i am interested now i am interested in three numbers actually i am interested in two four and six whenever we are interested in two or more than two outcomes of the random experiment of the two or more than two sample points of the total sample space then we are discussing about the compound event a very important concept you should learn it and you should revise all these concepts next is mutually exclusive events two events are said to be mutually exclusive which cannot come together if i say two and three these are mutually exclusive they cannot come together 4 and 5 these are two mutually exclusive events they cannot come together if i throw a die there will be 4 or 5 4 and 5 both cannot be at the same time it means mutually exclusive means they cannot come together and they have no nothing common their intersection will be equal to 0 next is exhaustive events all those events which make the total sample space they are the exhaustive events if i throw a coin head and tail are the exhaustive events because they make the total sample space 
there are two possible possibilities when you throw a coin head and tail and these two events are making the total sample space exhaustive events are those events which make the total sample space collectively then the next one is independent events if the occurrence of event a does not affect on the occurrence of event b then these two events are independent events now the 11th point is very very important i will discuss with you people that is de morgan's law and we have studied that actually probability of a intersection b whole complement if you want to find that will be helpful in every written test for you in interview also de morgan's law states that if i want to find out probability of a intersection b complement that will always be equal to a complement and intersection will become union actually and b complement and i can write it also if the question is in the exam probability of a complement intersection b complement now that will be probability of a intersection will become union actually and that was individual complement that will come on the whole if i ask from you a union b complement that will be the same a complement that will be given to this much a complement union will be changed into intersection then b complement and one more thing if they ask probability of a complement that is always equal to 1 minus probability of a if you want to find probability of a union b whole complement complement means always 1 minus probability of a without complement if they ask probability of a union b complement that will be equal to 1 minus probability of a union b without complement you will have to write if they ask probability of a that will be 1 minus probability of a complement if they ask probability of b that will be 1 minus probability of b complement these are the basic concepts of probability which will be beneficial fruitful and handy in every written test and interview also now i will discuss some important questions which are must which are important in every written test number one probability theory is also called theory of dash it is chance as i told you next probability theory helps a decision maker who makes the decisions to do what a analyze a situation correct one b decide accordingly that is also correct third one the first person to obtain a quantitative measure of uncertainty the numerical value was collected for uncertainty that was first introduced by james bernoulli a very important question next is probability theory can be mathematically derived using standard formula by using standard formula you can make the mathematical derivation of the probability theory next we use probability in vague terms when we predict something for the future for the future actually our aim is to getting the prediction for the future is the correct answer next an activity which can be repeated in more or less same condition and will have specific outcomes single outcome as i told you it is experiment don't be confused with random experiment if you have only one result one specific result that is experiment which of the following is a characteristic of a random experiment repeatable under uniform conditions yes that is correct next outcome of a particular trial is unpredictable yes we know there are total outcomes of that experiment but we do not know what will come now it is unpredictable next several possible outcomes yes two or more than two outcomes these all are correct next a random experiment contains at least two outcomes next which one is not the characteristic of a random experiment the number of all possible outcomes are not known in advance that is not the characteristic of random experiment we know all the possible outcomes in advance next which of the following is a random experiment a place blue litmus paper in acid and observe the color of the paper that will be only one single result all the time that is not a random experiment next from an urn containing white balls and 
draw one and observe the color it will always be white ball it is not a random experiment when there are seven, seven or eight balls in an urn in a box and all are white if i select one that will be always white only single result that is not a random experiment that is only an experiment next Rome and urn containing some white and some black balls now there are two types of two colors of balls draw two balls and observe their colors that is the example of random experiment next is the set of all outcomes of a random experiment is as i told you it is sample space next the collection of one or more outcomes of an experiment is called it is event next each outcome of a random experiment is called primary event it is primary event an event consisting only one point is called elementary event actually simple event is also called elementary event single sample point next an event which cannot occur is known as which cannot occur if there are six possibilities in a die if i say what is the probability of seven it is impossible all the outcomes of a random experiment are sample points we know these are the sample points actually next an event consists of only one sample point if i am interested in number 5 only one sample point that is simple event next an event that consists of two or more sample points i am interested in odd numbers 1 3 5 now there are three possibilities then there are three outcomes of that random experiment now i have compound event next is getting even number while throwing a balanced die it is compound event if i am interested in even numbers that is compound event next is getting an odd number while throwing a balanced die and now i am interested in 1 3 and 5 it is compound event we can visualize the concept of events their relationship and sample space using dash we can use venn diagram which shows the relationship between the events actually next is getting head while tossing a coin if there are two possibilities actually head and tail and i am interested in head a single sample point it is the simple event next is probability is expressed as ratio proportion percentage all are true next is the probability of an outcome is the proportion of times that the outcome occurs in the long run actually what do we do we get the occurrence of an event next is probability can take values between 0 and 1 the answer of probability can be between 0 and 1 both inclusive dear students at the end of the lecture i i, I will request everyone please comment on today's lecture assalam alaikum